Hi, this is Jeff Curto, and welcome to episode number 10 of Camera Position, a podcast about the creative side of photography. First off, I'd like to thank those of you who have written in and let me know what you're thinking about Camera Position and what we're doing here. I always appreciate hearing from people out there. And so if you uh, have a couple of seconds, drop me a note at jeff at jeffcurto.com and let me know what you're thinking and what you'd like to see Camera Position do or how it's helping you. Uh, one thing that I like, uh, one person wrote me and told me what it was that they were, where they were listening to Camera Position uh, in their car um, on the Pacific Coast Highway. That was kind of neat. So uh, those of you who are uh, writing in, you know, give me a little detail about where you are and what you're doing. Uh, you've probably noticed by now that I've settled into about a once a week um, sequence on uh, camera positions, so uh, you'll probably likely be seeing it on a regular basis midweek, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, thereabouts. I try to do it uh, on Wednesday if I if I can. So uh, thanks again for listening, and, and let's turn to the subject for this week's uh, camera position, and that is uh, another photograph of mine, a... Um, a photograph made in Tuscany of an abbey, uh, the Abbazia di San Antimo. San Antimo, a, uh, an incredibly beautiful, uh, very early church in uh, rural Tuscany, sort of uh, on the outskirts or outside of the uh, Italian hill town of Montalcino. And it is an absolutely uh, gorgeous setting. Um, and uh, a Romanesque church with uh, some wonderful carving here around the door. And what I wanted to talk about here today with, uh, with this particular image is the idea of where we come from with photographs and, and how the photograph communicates in ways that, uh, that we can't in, in, with other media. Uh, for this particular photograph, uh, it, it requires a little bit of a, of a backstory to explain uh, the situation and the, the place. And then I think some of the ideas of the photograph might become a little more clear. So uh, this is an abbey that is still working, still functional. There are um, uh, monks who uh, inhabit outbuildings near this church and who say, uh, mass several times a day, and uh, the mass is uh, chanted um, in uh, Gregorian type chants, uh, very low and uh, incredibly beautiful. The interior of the church is very Spartan, uh, very small uh, abbey, and so the uh, voices of the the monks as they chant reverberate off of the walls. And uh, pretty much any time I've been there, and I've been there a number of times now. Uh, there is an absolutely unbelievably beautiful sort of mood that that happens there. There's something about the place. It feels uh, quite sacred. It feels quite uh, uh, in harmony with nature. And there is something about being there that causes one to look inward at uh, one's feelings and, and uh, emotional state and so forth and so on. And so uh, when I came to make this photograph, the thing that I found really intriguing was this feeling that I had had as I was there, and this was made in 1994 on the very first uh, uh, trip that I had made to this particular location, and uh, I was really overcome with this emotional feeling of looking inward um, while also looking obviously outward with my eyes. And so what I ended up doing after making a fairly large number of photographs of the rest of the exterior of this uh, amazingly beautiful structure, um, I ended up making this photograph, which uh, to me captures this essence of looking inward and looking outward. So we're looking at the facade of the church and this beautiful carving and the sort of remarkably uh, poignant, I think, crack in the uh, uh, the, the part of the, the door frame that is above the door itself. And then also looking inside of the sanctuary and seeing the details in there and seeing the the, the plainness of the church itself and the way in which uh, the monks uh, have this very Spartan sense of the worship that they uh, conduct in this space. And then also there is this idea of looking inward, but also looking outward. So uh, carefully thinking through the position of the camera to really make that uh, tree in the background wind up in that window pane so that uh, we're looking outward at the outside facade of the church, inside the church, and then outward again. 
And it really was that sort of uh, cyclical kind of strategy or a cyclical, almost like a in-breath, out-breath idea that I had while making the photograph. And uh, so this is a situation, though, and, and really the kind of point that I wanted to get to today in this, um, in this little discussion, this is part of the problem with photography. It's, it's sort of a problem and also one of its blessings, I think, that the photographer is the one who knows that backstory. Uh, without my telling you this um, detail about the way this picture came to be or my thought process while making the picture, you certainly wouldn't know that. Uh, but it is up to the photographer to recognize that the viewer isn't going to know those things and that the viewer really only has the visual to go on and to try and divorce ourselves from the idea of where we are as photographers emotionally, physically, uh, what we're seeing, what's going on around us, what we had to eat before we, uh, before we made the photograph, whether we're hungry perhaps as we're about to make the photograph, um, who's with us, who's uh, uh, around us, um, all of those kinds of things really factor in to our personal response to a subject, to a scene. And yet the viewer of the photograph really never gets a chance to see those things or uh, experience those things. And so it's up to us as photographers to kind of try to deal with that problem uh, by making photographs that have a pure visual authority that perhaps in some small way conveys the idea that you're trying to get across with the subject at hand, um, but also acts in a completely different way on a purely visual level. So here we are at San Antimo uh, in rural Tuscany, one of the most uh, spiritually extraordinary places that I've ever seen and uh, or ever, ever experienced. And uh, this photograph for me really captures that essence of in-breath, out-breath, uh, looking inside and looking outside of ourselves to find our own personal truths. So thanks again for listening to Camera Position. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed. Um, and uh, Feel free to give me a, an idea of what you're thinking about camera position, uh, some other photographers you'd like to see me talk about. Uh, what I've been doing is pulling out from my archive some of my favorite uh, photographs of mine, and then also some of my favorite photographers who act as inspiration to me as an image maker and as a photographer. So thanks again, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week on episode number 11 of Camera Position, the podcast about the creative side of photography.